Hello again and welcome to another Warhammer 40k Mordian Glory video. Today guys we are going to be doing another quick tip tactic and we are going to be taking a look at a tactic I like to call the Plasma Death Ball. Now what you need to make this tactic work is a Lehman Rust tank commander and you're going to need to give him an Executioner Plasma Cannon. That's pretty important. I mean, it's a Plasma Death Ball. He needs as much plasma as he can get his hands on. You're also probably going to want to slap a couple of Plasma Cannon sponsors on the side of this tank and for good measure, why the hell not, stick a Laz Cannon in the front of him as well. You're then going to want to give this tank commander the lead by example Warlord trait. Now there are a couple of ways that you can do this. Firstly, if you have no senior officers in your army, you can simply select the tank commander to be your warlord and then give him a warlord trait. If you do have senior officers in your army, then what you can do is use the officer card or stratagem for one CP pre-game to give this tank a warlord trait. What this warlord trait allows the unit to do is order itself. Now, normally tank commanders can't do that. That's a big change from the 8th edition book over to the 9th edition book. And because of that, it really makes it quite difficult to get reroll ones or rerolls to hit on your tank commanders. And the problem with that is, is that it means that taking things like executioners are very risky. You see, the executioner plasma can has two profiles. It has a regular profile and it has a supercharged profile. And you're pretty much always going to want to supercharge it. If you do, then it means that it gets an extra strength and it gets an extra damage, which massively increases the amount of work that this vehicle can do. However, the disadvantage of overcharging your plasma cannons is that if you roll a one to hit, then you take a mortal wound. And that means that if you're running a vehicle like an executioner and it's got plasma on the side, it's got plasma on top. If you're rolling so many plasma shots, it's very possible over the course of a game to end up degrading yourself or even destroying the vehicle outright just by firing it. So that's why we want to take the lead by example Warlord trait on our Plasma Death Ball Tank Commander because it allows him to order himself. And the order that you're going to want to slap on this guy every single turn is Gunner's Kill on Sight. What Gunner's Kill on Sight allows you to do is reroll ones to hit. So suddenly overcharging that Plasma Cannon is no longer such a risky event. You'd have to roll a one followed by another one. Now, I know we've all been there and we've done that, but it does overall statistically massively reduce the likelihood of you degrading yourself and of also potentially even killing yourself. On top of that, the benefit is that it means that your tank is going to be much more accurate, much more reliable. I mean, you're going to have more chances to turn those misses into hits, which means you're going to be able to do more damage to the enemy. So not only are you reducing the likelihood of you hurting yourself, but you're also increasing the damage output of this vehicle. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say to me, but Mordian Glory, why wouldn't you just take a normal tank commander and have your regular Lemurus as one of these executioner plasma balls? Hell, you could take a couple of Lemurus, maybe even three, and have the order start splashing out all over the place. Well, dear viewer, you are correct. It is absolutely a totally valid thing that you can do. Take a regular Lemurus tank commander. Don't give it the plasma cannon. Have it just, you know, supporting other Lemuruses. That is true. That is absolutely a valid thing that you can do. However, what I would say is that you want to use the tactic to get rerolls on all of your tanks, okay? Because this quick tick tactica combines really, really well with the last one that we did with the big Vanksra cannon tank command. Now, if you haven't seen that, don't worry, I have a link at the end of this episode taking you to that one so you can understand exactly what I'm talking about here. But basically, if you're running a pair of Lehman Russ tank commanders and you're running a pair of regular Lehman Russes, then you can use these two quick tip tacticas to make sure that the Vanksha tank commander with his extra regimental doctrine has got his inbuilt reroll for his Vanksha, which is great. And then he's able to do his gunner's kill on sight order onto your two standard Lehman Russ executioners. And then also your other tank commander, the Plasma Death Ball can order himself to reroll ones and suddenly every single one of your Russes in your army has got some form of rerolls and is meaning that your damage output is super, super reliable. How I see it is it isn't a case of either or, it's 
Take both, use both quick tip tacticas and really get the most out of your army. Trust me, based on my battlefield experience with this new codex already, you're going to want to take about four Lehman Russes and taking a mixture of two tank commanders and two regular ones is actually the sweet spot. And this tactic combined with the Vanquisher one really lets you get the most juice for the squeeze. Another reason that I really like this tactic is it's very beginner or new guard player friendly. I mean, if you're only just getting your first guard miles together, perhaps you've only got one Lehman Russ. Now, if you were a standard Lehman Russ, you're going to have no rerolls. If you're a tank commander without running it with this tactic, you've got no rerolls either. But if you run your Lehman Russ as a plasma death ball with the lead by example warlord trait, then it means that you'll be able to get rerolls on that low Lehman Russ and you will definitely see a huge increase in its damage output and reliability. The end result is, it doesn't matter if you're a newer player running a lone Lemurus or a veteran player running three, four, five of them. This tactic allows you to be able to get easy access to reroll sit across your entire Lehman Russ fleet. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do you think this is a pretty good tactic or do you think, you know what, I'll just stick with regular executioners. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you've enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button like you're smashing the overcharge button on your plasma guns and make sure to subscribe to never miss an episode. If you've really enjoyed today's video or you found it particularly helpful, then please consider becoming a channel member or Patreon supporter. Thanks to the generous support of my channel members and Patreon supporters, I'm able to do more during glory full time now. That means I can put extra effort into every single one of my videos and I can come up with more of these quick tip tacticas. One of the biggest perks of becoming a channel member or patron supporter is you gain access to the Mordian Glory Discord server, which is a community of over 600 active members. We're always chatting away in there talking about memes, tactics, hobbying, painting, or just general 40k chit chat. If that sounds like a whole load of fun and maybe pretty useful for you to get some more tactics, then please consider becoming a channel member or patron supporter and getting yourself in that Discord. And I'd like to take a moment to say thank you to all of the latest channel members and patrons. Patreon supporter. So a big thank you to Ben Spears, Blade Little, S. Brat, Paddy O'Patrick, Jaden Knight, Ralph Risk, and Josh Greenfield for becoming channel members. Thank you guys for doing your part. I also want to say a special thank you to my latest Patreon supporters. So big thank you to David Newby, Jessica, Simon Olson, Max, Dart, Sean, Mark Lee Sim, and Knack. Thank you guys for your ongoing Patreon support. I also want to say a special, personal, heartfelt thank you to all of my top tier Patreon supporters. These are the War Masters, the people that have truly gone above and beyond the call of duty. So a massive thank you to Bon Bon Vert, Phil French, Ross Miller, Tequal, Alex Dengal, John Stubbs, Nicholas Walsh, Swordfish Trombone, Diesel Fox, Tom Sutton, and of course... August Varney, the one man super chat and army. Massive thank you to all of you guys. Your ongoing and very generous support makes a huge difference and really helps me do more doing glory full time. I hope you've all enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. And of course, as always, I'll see you guys next time.